come now i will tell thee and do thou hearken to my saying and carry it away the only two ways of search that can be thought of the first namely that it is and that it is impossible for it not to be is the way of belief for truth is its companion the other namely that it is not and that it must needs not be that i tell thee is a path that none can learn of at all for thou canst not know what is not that is impossible nor utter it for it is the same thing that can be thought and that can be it needs must be that what can be spoken and thought is for it is possible for it to be and it is not possible for what is nothing to be this is what i bid thee ponder i hold thee back from this first way of inquiry and from this other also upon which mortals knowing not wander two-faced for helplessness guides the wandering thought in their breasts so that they are borne along stupefied like men deaf and blind undiscerning crowds who hold that it is and is not the same and not the same and all things travel in opposite directions for this shall never be proved that the things that are not are and do thou restrain thy thought from this way of inquiry one path only is left for us to speak of namely that it is in this path are very many tokens that what is is uncreated and indestructible for it is complete immovable and without end nor was it ever nor will it be for now it is all at once a continuous one for what kind of origin for it wilt thou look for in what way and from what source could it have drawn its increase i shall not let thee say nor think that it came from what is not for it can neither be thought nor uttered that anything is not and if it came from nothing what need could have made it arise later rather than sooner therefore must it either be altogether or be not at all nor will the force of truth suffer aught to arise besides itself from that which is not wherefore justice doth not lose her fetters and let anything come into being or pass away but holds it fast our judgment thereon depends on this is it or is it not surely it is adjudged as it needs must be that we are to set aside the one way as unthinkable and nameless for it is no true way and that the other path is real and true how then can what is be going to be in the future or how could it come into being if it came into being it is not nor is it if it is going to be in the future thus is becoming extinguished and passing away not to be heard of nor is it divisible since it is all alike and there is no more of it in one place than in another to hinder it from holding together nor less of it but everything is full of what is wherefore it is wholly continuous for what is is in contact with what is moreover it is movable in the bonds of mighty chains without beginning and without end since coming into being and passing away have been driven afar and true belief has cast them away it is the same and it rests in the self-same place abiding in itself and thus it remaineth constant in its place for hard necessity keeps it in the bonds of the limit that holds it fast on every side wherefore it is not permitted to what is to be infinite for it is in need of nothing while if it were infinite it would stand in need of everything the thing that can be thought and that for the sake of which the thought exists is the same for you cannot find thought without something that is as to which it is uttered and there is not and never shall be anything besides what is since fate has changed it so as to be whole and immovable wherefore all these things are but names which mortals have given believing them to be true coming into being and passing away being and not being change of place and alteration of bright colour since then it has the furthest limit it is complete on every side like the mass of a rounded sphere equally poised from the centre in every direction for it cannot be greater or smaller in one place than in another 
for there is no nothing that could keep it from reaching out equally nor can aught that is be more here and less there than what is since it is all inviolable for the point from which it is equal in every direction tends equally to the limits here shall i close my trustworthy speech and thought about the truth henceforward learn the beliefs of mortals giving ear to the deceptive ordering of my words mortals have made up their minds to name two forms one of which they should not name and that is where they go astray from the truth they have distinguished them as opposite in form and have assigned to them marks distinct from one another to the one they lot the fire of heaven gentle very light in every direction the same as itself but not the same as the other the other is just the opposite to it dark night a compact and heavy body of these i tell thee the whole arrangement as it seems likely for so no thought of mortals will ever outstrip thee fragments of parmenides of Ilia, translated by john burnett in early greek philosophy third edition Recording by Ernst Patinama, Amsterdam, the Netherlands, 9-11-2008 This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org.